Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you guys what is on my iPhone because I like videos like this. I've had my iPhone since March of last year, so like almost a year now, and I feel like really comfortable with it and sharing it with you guys. And yeah, so let's jump into uh, what's on my iPhone. And you guys can tell me if you organize your iPhone the same way or if you have some other great apps that you want me to download. I'm gonna put everything that I mentioned in this video, all the apps and stuff, on a Sublime list so you can go head over to my Sublime page and see exactly what I talked about, where to get them. Blah, blah, blah. First of all, let's talk about what I have here. This is a white iPhone uh, 5 regular 5, not 5S or 5C or anything, just the regular 5. And my case that I have on it right now, I just got recently, and it has a deer, or a stag, I guess, with the antlers on it. And I just like white, so I liked that it was white. It's kind of like a bark texture. Not texture, it's smooth, but like a bark, kind of a print with this kind of Aztec-y <laughs> print on top of the deer, and I just love deer. They're like my favorite animal, so, and it was white, so I really liked it, and I got it from Zazzle. I'll put this on my uh, Sublime list as well. Zazzle has some really great um, cases. Like, they have millions of cases. They're really expensive, but if you have a coupon code, which you can often find, I used a coupon code, um, mine was half off. So, when I turned on my iPhone, which it, I have a case on it, like, one of these non-scratch things and it's like dirty on the bottom and gross. I have another one, I just haven't put it on yet because it takes like 12 hours to dry after you put it on. And I never like don't use my phone for 12 hours. So I've been procrastinating with the new one on. So I apologize, it looks dirty and gross. But yeah, so when I turn it on, my lock screen is this kind of like bokeh texture thingy and it just says, you know, slide to unlock and then I do so, and my background on my normal phone screen is the same thing. So you see all my apps pop up right there. And I try to limit, well I do limit my apps to two pages. If it was more than two pages, I wouldn't be able to deal. So it's just like one here and then the other here and that's it. The apps that I have on the bottom that always stay there are messages, phone, mail, and music. So those always stay right down there because they're the ones that I probably use the most or want the easiest access to. And then on the first page here I have Safari, my camera, clock, calendar, photos, maps, settings, weather, notes, reminders, app store, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, Messenger, uh, pages, which is like for my Leviosa page on Facebook, um, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube is what I have on my first page. And on my second page I have different like folders with more apps in them so that I don't have to go onto a third page. I put things in folders. So I had a wedding folder. Obviously I haven't really used that one since my wedding ended a while ago, but I was using those apps. I had Wed Happy and Wedding Party. The next one is utilities. So like random things like the calculator and what else is in here? Like the compass and FaceTime is actually in here. I don't know, just random things that I don't really use that much, utilities. Then the next one is travel. So I have other um, navigation apps. So I have Scout, I have Google Maps, I have my Southwest app. I travel on Southwest a lot. Southwest and JetBlue are the two other lines I take a lot. So I have their app, Inrix Traffic, which is like a traffic app, and Uber, which is something that I've never actually used, but I always want to. They just um, started having Ubers in Sacramento. The next folder is Finance. So I have all my banking apps and such things in there. Then I have photo apps and I could probably do like a whole other video on photo apps for you guys and like how I take my Instagram pictures, but these are all apps that I use for Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm crazy. It's actually two pages within this one folder of just photo apps. I have Afterlight, VSCO Cam, Pickstitch, Bocaful, Fonto, Instablend, Miragram, Pick Play Post, Notography, and then on the second page I have Timer Cam, Wallpapers, and Flippagram. I will say the ones that I probably use the most and like the most are Afterlight, Pick Stitch, Bocaful, and Fonto. So, and I like paid for Pick Play Post, which is like what people use to put videos into Instagram, and I have no idea how to use it. So that was a waste of money. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that one. So you guys should let me know if you want to see like a video on how I take my Instagram pictures. Next I have games and I only have two games which is Words With Friends and Oregon Trail. 
The next folder and last folder that I have is a groceries folder for like grocery apps. Fun, right? Um, I have weekly ads, any list, Cartwheel, which is like the Target app with Target coupons and stuff in it, Macy's, and Epicurious. I love Epicurious, like looking up different recipes for dinner and stuff on there. And I have an app for that. Moving on to my second page of apps that are not in folders, I have Couple, which I don't really use anymore. Tony and I used to use it when he was still in California and I was in New York. It's just like a silly like couple app where you can like send each other pictures and stuff. I know you can do that on like regular text messaging too, but on Couple I wanted to get it because it's like if the person puts their finger on the app, it like shows up in your app and as soon as like your fingers touch each other on the screen, it vibrates so it's like you can like feel the other person it's lame I know but if you're in a long-distance relationship it's something so I have that Etsy which I use a lot during wedding time I uh, love Etsy sublime hello hi sublime I'm going to be making a sublime list for all these things that I'm telling you guys about so yeah iTunes store keek which I don't really use I don't keek but I sometimes file other people's keeks viber which is like a free calling kind of app where you can text and call for free um so sometimes when tony's out of the country we will talk over viber it's not really that good like you have to have good wi-fi for it to work well but sometimes you do because he doesn't have an iphone so we can't iMessage. pandora loves it m watson i just have that on there because m watson it's an m watson app about like Emma Watson, so I don't use it that much, but I like her being on my phone. So there you go. Audible, which is like audiobooks. Uh, Time Hop is a new app that I really like. It shows you what you were doing on the internet like years ago. So I recently got a photo from six years ago from college and I posted it to Facebook and was like tagging my friends and they're like, oh my God, can you believe this was six years ago? So it's pretty interesting. Blog Lovin', another recent app. I have started subscribing to blogs and reading blogs, which I never really did before, um, but I wanna start my own kind of lifestyle blog and I need to really research how I wanna start it and how I like how other people do it. So I'm reading a lot of blogs recently. You guys can suggest blogs to me in the comments below as well. And then the last one is Yammer, which is kind of like Facebook for work. So for work, I use that. And that is it. That is everything on my iPhone. Let me know what your favorite apps are if I don't have them. Um, I'm not like good at finding apps, really. Uh, it usually comes from recommendations from other people. So I'm interested to know what you guys have. Make sure you check out my Sublime list of my favorite apps down below. And I will see you guys soon. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, bye.